really important from the PASS lab perspective in hospital that you actually find out which particular bacteria or bacterium is actually uh, causing the infection in the patient. You need to know that so as to be able to treat that patient correctly. You also have to bear in mind that in the modern world, actually resistance is becoming an ever-increasing problem. People will pick up infections from other parts of the world with resistance patterns that perhaps we don't see here in the UK. So actually appreciating resistance to antibiotics is a really important part of a job. So hopefully in a mixed culture you can actually pick out different kinds of bacteria from what their colonies actually look like. You get different growths. On the cled plate, the bluey plate, uh, you can see different sizes and apparently different colours of colonies. So the yellow ones are the organisms that actually ferment lactose as part of their biochemistry. But it can be seen that some actually remain that greeny blue colour. They're the non-lactose fermenters. So we can separate out different types of basic biochemistry and different sizes and appearances of colonies, defining the different bacteria in a mixed sample. From a mixed culture, hopefully you can still pick out single colonies of bacteria. And if you're really careful, you can pick those single colonies in order to isolate a pure sample of each of these different types of bacteria. By using a streak plate, you can actually achieve that. So from the pure culture, you can make a suspension of the organism and fill up the wells on an ID strip. Each well defines one particular biochemical reaction. So one of those, for example, is lactose fermentation that you see on the cled plate, those colonies that were bright yellow as opposed to the clear ones. Once these wells are filled and layered with oil if necessary, if there's a need for anaerobic conditions, those are then incubated overnight and the following day we can look at the different colour reactions that define whether the tests are positive or negative. Other than the detailed biochemistry type identification, there are certainly a number of standard techniques that have been used for many years to help separate and identify different organisms. One of these is the gram stain. It was developed by a microbiologist in the 19th century who noticed that using a combination of different stains actually resulted in bacteria appearing different colours. A decolorizer is used as part of the process. So some bacteria will retain the bluey black colouring of the initial stains, while others, once you've used the decolorizer, the whole slide goes clear and you need to use a counter stain such as safranin in order to be able to see them properly under the microscope. A technique that can be used for looking at antibiotic sensitivity or resistance of bacteria is what's known as a Stokes plate. Normally we use two different organisms on a Stokes plate. By putting both of those onto one plate carefully and then applying antibiotic discs. So these are small filter discs with set concentrations of different antibiotics. We can then compare what we know or call zones of inhibition. 